Good evening, YouTube family. It is now 6.30. I'm sorry I look a mess. I don't look as refreshed and bright-faced as I usually do. I just got off of work. I am teaching summer school, summer programming, so I'm usually gone from 8 to 5 and beyond if I have extra things to do that night. So it's 6.30 and I said I got off at 5, so I know you guys are like... This video is going to be a teacher haul. If you want to stay tuned and look what I got, please watch. Welcome back to Miss Waters class. Okay, so to go ahead and get this thing started, I went to four separate stores, um, not just all today, but I've been on this teacher hunt for about a week now. Um, in my first year of teaching, I did not have all the resources that I need. I did not feel that my classroom was decorated as it needed to be compared to some other teachers. Um, as a first year teacher, I didn't really know exactly what I needed as far as resources are concerned and as far as decorative and educational decorations were concerned. Um, I just used the things that the previous teacher left. Yeah, I know. I know. But I have decided that I want to get most of my things done before we start school. Now, in my particular county, public schools start back August 28th and private schools private schools start back September 5th. I teach at a private school, so I go back September 5th. So I do have a while before things actually start getting to rolling. But with my particular theme, I wanted to go ahead and snatch up as much as I can. So this particular theme is Miss Waters Kindergarten Bright. Uh, it went better in my head. Anyways, <laughs> it's going to be multicolored. Multicolored. I want bright colors everywhere. Um, because when I went into my classroom, and I'll be sure to show you guys sometime soon. When I went into my classroom, they repainted the front side of my classroom a, a light blue, almost turquoise looking color. And so I was just like, oh my gosh, it's so bright. I want to keep the brightness going on. So... Without further ado, let's get into this haul. As I said, I went to four stores. Um, Roses, Discount Store, um, Dollar Tree, Target Dollar Spot, and Office Max. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, for their library area, I wanted them to have cushions and stools to sit down. Um, last year I only had one bean bag and 13 kindergartners. It yeah, didn't work too well. So, Roses had these cushions for a dollar and these stools for five dollars. So, I had to get them. So, I said that I was doing multicolored. Are you guys ready? I got a lime green polka dot one, a solid pink, a red polka dotted one, a solid yellow, a blue polka dotted one, and, oops, sorry, an orange solid one. And these were all a dollar. I saw these. I wish y'all could have saw my face in that store. It was like, oh my gosh. And nobody was picking them up, I guess, because they were so bright and they're kind of like the kitchen or the patio cushions that you put in the chair. But this is perfect for a kindergarten classroom. I mean, really. So I grabbed them up. The next thing... I got and these were at the Target dollar spot and with the Abeka curriculum um, my kindergartners do learn how to proficiently write in cursive and read in cursive so I went ahead and got these and it's a word sign that says inspire it's a lime green one and this one says create and my famous quote is a creative mind can only be can only have the opportunity to create if it has an atmosphere 
where creation, where con an atmosphere conducive for creation. And I'll write the quote at the bottom. I don't know why I'm just jumbled. I guess I'm so excited to share this news with you guys. But that's from bag one. I got these items from Rose's Discount Store and Target Dollar Spot if any of my fellow teachers want them. So I'm trying to clean up as I go. Because I'm putting this back in my storage. Because if I leave it in my apartment, it's going to be a mess. And I, I do like a clean environment. The next thing I got is from the Target Dollar Spot. And some of the things I used from last year, I just have to tidy them up. So I got this little chalk easel. And I used it last year. And you're probably going to see this in older vlogs. I used this last year for their reading circle time to put it on the little dining table. I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for this year. But it's red and it goes with the colorful theme. I went to the Target Dollar Spot and got these little glow ball lights. I'm probably going to put these around my board. Um, I just could not resist. This is the color. I don't know if you guys can see it that well. This is the color that they have painted my classroom. So I was just like, Ugh, I'm going for the brightness. All the way brightness. And I have... I got these from the Target Dollar Spot last year. I'm not sure if they're there this year. But it's just a colorful shape um, banner with all the colors that I am incorporating into my classroom. And I have the same banners I got at the Target Dollar Spot last year. I just have them in pencils and pencils and paper. It's the felt material. I got this at the Target Dollar Spot last year that I have decided I'm going to reuse them. Um, another pattern... I have is this banner and some of these banners are going to be used to hang on the ceiling and some of them are going to incorporate educational themes. What themes? I don't know yet. I have to go into my classroom and think about it and really ponder. I don't know yet. And I have another banner that is the red tassels. When I redid my classroom the best that I could in the middle of the year, my favorite color is red, so practically the whole classroom was red. So I just didn't want to leave it red. I want it to be multicolored. So, and I also got, I got this at the dollar store. They have these in all colors. And I'm going to use this to place certain items in them. Um, let me see if I can find it. I bought it today. Mm. Oh, here they are. I'm going to use... What I have is these multicolored tablets. I got these at Office Max. These were $2 each. And I'm going to put these on the second desk in my classroom that when the students finish their work, because you always have a few fast students, when the students finish their work and they finish their enrichment packet, these I'm going to have little tickets on my desk that says exactly what to do. It's going to be a type of enrichment. It's going to have a little ticket and it's going to say grab a colored tablet complete this activity so this is what this is for and I'm going to use this basket to place my tickets and the little marker tablets in there so I thought it would be really nice and another way to accent the color within the classroom I got these at Office Depot, Office Max, whichever um, you want to call them and the colorful folders I was telling you about um, most of the folders on my desk are the manila color, and I, I just wasn't feeling it anymore, especially since I'm going for a multicolored theme. So I'm going to reorganize my paperwork and put them in these different color folders and label them as such. I just have the regular colors that you all have been seeing. Purple, orange, green, yellow, red, blue. The regular colors that you all have been seeing, because I'm so serious about this colorful environment in my classroom um these are going to go in the library section as well five how much is these 5.99 guys and these are good sturdy ones from roses i got the blue one and i got a lime green one guys i don't think you understand I mean, you understand because some of you are teachers and you're right here with me. But I, I'm just so excited for my second year of teaching. On to the next items. Okay, so Target Dollar Spot. I've 
decided that I wanted to change where their cubbies are because last year it was very open and you know cubbies you put their backpacks and their lunch boxes in them it was just too open for my liking so I'm going to turn them against the wall like when you walk in and I'll be sure to show you guys my vision I plan to do that I hope it works so when to make the environment more inviting um, because the cubby the back side of the cubby is what you're going to see first I plan where's the bag I plan to cover the cubby storages in one of these colors and I got these at the dollar store I have purple red green to put on the three different tables in my classroom I'm going to put one of the well two different tables in my classroom and one of them on the um, cubby storage and I might have to go back and get another in each color but we'll see when that time comes but I was going to put one of these on the back case of the, the cubby storage and use these cute little buckets I got at Target um, Dollar Spot and Target this one says read this one says teach this one says learn and it kind of has a dent in it I should have got oh well no, I shouldn't because I could pop it right out. I was going to say, should have got some money off that. And the other one says create. I'm going to place these on top of it with one of these tablecloths and put little storage things in it like markers and crayons and colored pencils and put them inside of these. So I, I just thought that that was great. And for my desk, I'm still going to have the red theme for my desk because my favorite color is red I got one of these cute little apples it's so superficial but it's one of the little figurines and then I got this that says live love and teach and that's going to go on my desk as well as probably one of those banners that I have I haven't decided yet I haven't decided yet just haven't decided um so yeah Along with the dollar store, they have these cute pens. I don't know what I'm going to use them for, but they're multicolored and they're, they're clips. Excuse me. They're multi-purpose multi clips. I just couldn't leave them. They were a dollar. I don't... I don't know. It goes with my thing. And I'm just really big on how everything looks so the kids can just be invited and excited to learn in the classroom. I got these and all the colors I have them in blue, red, purple, pink, yellow. I'm going to hang them across the classroom and different areas of the classroom. And I'm just super excited to do that. If you guys can tell, I am excited to do this. And what else? What else? We're getting down to the wire here. Okay. So, I don't know if any of my other teachers. Yeah, I do. I know y'all have dealt with this. Where the students just think that they can get up for whatever reason. My pencil, my pencil broke. I need another pencil. I need an eraser. I need a ruler. I need a crayon. Dollar Tree had these cute little caddies for a dollar. I got them in every color. I got red. <laughs> oh gosh, guys. Blue. Green. And yellow, those are the only four colors that they had out. And I mean, it's that's kind of what you expect because these are fairly primary colors. So, what I'm going to do, I have eight for right now because I only have five um, kindergartners registered for my class. But I know it's going to be between eight and twelve. So, I went ahead and got eight. And if I need to get the four more, I'm pretty sure I pray to God <laughs> that they'll have these. And I pray that, um, it just works but if not it's cool but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna place these on their desk it's gonna have it's gonna have a group of markers 
a group of pencils, a group of erasers, and a group of, I don't know what this, this one's going to be used for. But it's going to be placed on their desk. That way, when they need to get up, there's no excuse. It's on your caddy on your desk. So that's, I'm just helping this for the management purpose of my classroom that I saw last year. Um, I feel that that will help traffic and I feel that that will help with as far as distractions are getting up and getting out. Now, since they are kindergarten, I'm going to have to really make sure I make the rule specific that you don't play with it on your desk, that you use it how you're supposed to use it or you will lose it. So yeah, um... I have three different boards in my classroom and the front board already has a group of letters on there that I'm keeping that I used last year and it just works well with the front but on the back I don't have enough color so Dollar Tree had this cute little banner again it has the colors that I need again it has the blue that's going to be on the front side of my wall it just works I got that and last year I had to keep on asking one of my co-workers did they have, you know, the board letters every time I redid my board and door. Dollar Tree had them in every color. <laughs> every single color. And it's like, how many? It's a, six, it's a pack of 69 letters. Uppercase, lowercase, punctuation, and numbers. You can't beat that. So I'm going to, when I go to work, I'm going to go to the office. I'm going to take apart the ones that I need that I'm going to use to decorate for this first um, half of the year. And I'm going to laminate them and I'm going to recycle them because you are always going to need these no matter what grade you're teaching. You're, you're going to need them. And I'm just going to add this to my collection. So I got blue, red, yellow, and green. I got those. And we're down to the last bag, guys. Woohoo! Oh, this is going back in my storage. This is ridiculous down here. Okay, the last bag is from the Target Dollar Spy. So I have, just like the red one I showed you, I have a multicolored one. I'm not sure where, where I'm going to put this, how I'm going to use it, if it's going to be a prize, I don't know. At my school, each week we have a star student, and the star student shows excellent behavior, um, gets their work done, makes good grades, shows positive characteristics, and we um, recognize them every Friday. So, Target Dollar Spot had this cute, these cute certificates that I am going to use. I could not believe it. When I saw this, I was just like, oh my gosh, so I'm going to use this in my classroom of course when that time comes I'm going to laminate them and give it to them on that Friday but I couldn't leave this especially when we do that every week at my school so I just had to do it I had to do it and these since I teach kindergarten guys this was I could not leave this I was so amazed this is definitely going to get hung up on the ceiling what this is, it's an alphabet banner kit. And this is what it looks like, guys. And it has all the alphabets, and it comes with the yarn, and it comes with the clips. I, it was only a dollar, too. I was like, what? I snatched that thing up so quick. I snatched it up so quick, I could not leave that. Oh, no ma'am. So, and the next thing I have, and I'm pretty sure, sure you guys have been seeing this because I think, <laughs> especially the teachers I follow on Instagram, Snapchat, and YouTube, we have been tearing these big letters up. We've been tearing them slap up. And I had to tear it slap up myself because I wanted it to. <laughs> and they only had two left. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is for me. But guys, I'm just seeing these colors tie in together. And I'm so super excited. So I just love this. I had to get it. And I believe this is this is the last thing. Yes, this is the last thing. My kindergarten class, especially from last year, was well advanced. We knew our continents. We knew the states, their capitals. And so since they knew so much, 
I was going to put this in one of the centers in the classroom. I found this at Target. And every time we learn a new state and it's in its capital, excuse me, I was going to pin it with um, the push pins to show the parents every time we have a meeting and everything else what we have learned and covered so far. So I just thought that this was a necessity for learning. I probably put it back there in their library or somewhere on the wall. I just thought it was amazing. So the things that I have left to get, um, as you know, the paper, the markers, the crayons, the pencils, all of that hasn't gone on sale yet. And I usually go to Walmart to get that because they usually have a huge sale. So I'm going to get that at that time. Um, a possibility, it's not a guarantee. I might get the, the, the solid white crates so that the students can get one and get a cushion and sit on one. Um, if we have activities like that, I haven't made up my mind. It's a possibility. And I have a crate full of things um, on Teachers Pay Teachers. Miss May, um, one fabulous teacher. I am going to use her um, reading is with the, the watermelon heads. I forget what you call them. But it just explains what reading is. And I'm going to use those posters in the library section because they're these colors and I thought they were amazing so I am going to get those and I am going to get um a set of multicolored clipboards I have them in Amazon right now I'm going to get the um the magnet um border for my board so it can be nice and organized and I can have the quote of the day the lesson of the day things like that to just better organize um my board because it was just it was a mess last year and I didn't like it. And I actually have the labels in magnet in magnet form for the board as well. And I have those things in um, my Amazon shopping cart. And I'll be ordering those as soon as my next check comes in. Because I have went over the budget for this. So, and I already have um, my lesson kits. Since we use the Becca curriculum, it is a scripted curriculum. So my lesson plans are already written for me. I went through the lessons last year, unless we get a new lesson plan book. And I pray that we don't get a new lesson plan book. But I mean, if we do, I'm going to do like all of the teachers do. Take it home, read through it, and continue on. <laughs> but that is that. I have all of my... Um, my enrichment already I have that I kept thank God I kept all of the enrichment activities that I used last year I kept the primary um, copy in a huge folder about this big it's a couple of them and I put them in my storage in my classroom so I'm just gonna use them again um, in kindergarten you just gotta reinvent the wheel in the most fun way as possible so that the kids can grasp learning and enjoy the learning aspect and as far as music is concerned I kept all my lesson plans for music the only thing that I have to do is um, create the music board and I haven't decided what I want the theme for this year to be for music um, when I do decide of course I will tell you guys but this vlog is for my kindergarten classroom. When I figure out my music classroom, I'll get back to you. So, I hope that you have enjoyed this vlog. If you guys want to buy any of these things that I have, um, visit Rose's Discount Store, Dollar Tree, Target, Dollar Spot, and Office Depot. So, is anybody else's house starting to look like a storage unit for classroom things is it just me i know it's not just me i know it's you guys too